Good afternoon, fellow Awkward Knots. It's Friday. DFTV. Hey. So you may notice that I'm in a bit of a better mood than last week. Um, I've just come from a job interview and I think it went really well. Um, I don't know if I've got the job yet. I've got to wait a few days, uh, but I'm feeling positive and I'm feeling good and I really, 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 really hope I got it. Um, so yeah, I'm in a good mood today and I'm in a bit of a rush. Um, cause I'm going to do my volunteering at the radio station in like, I've got to leave in about 20 minutes and I've got to have lunch. Um, so let's get on with this Proust. It's a good word, Proust. Proust questionnaire. What do you regard as the lowest depth of misery? For me personally, it's loneliness. I think um, there is nothing, there's no worse feeling in the entire world than feeling like you're alone. Where would you like to live? If I'm sticking to the country, then there's a little city called Litchfield down from where I live and it's really amazing and it's got a cathedral and it's where I went to um, college um, like basic college, not university, um, and it's really awesome and it's really nice and I'd like to live there. If I'm going to go worldwide, I'm going to say uh, New York, San Francisco or Toronto. What is your idea of earthly happiness? Um, just that feeling like you're loved, I think. I think there's no better feeling than if you feel like someone cares about you. Yeah, very, very, very deep in this questionnaire. I can see this going. To what faults do you feel most indulgent? Uh, I have a tendency to buy too much. I really, over, I overspend quite a lot. Um, it's usually a material thing, so I think I'd probably say that I'm most indulgent on very material things like video games or um, books or films. I mean, books and books. Obviously, I pr probably don't feel as guilty because I feel like I'm learning. Um, but with video games and films, I feel like I shouldn't buy them, but I do. Who are your favourite heroes of fiction? Um, my heroes are Clark Kent in Smallville, and it's got to be Harry because Harry started when I was 11, ended when I was just over, when I was just 18, so yeah. Clark Kent and Harry Potter, who are your favourite heroines of fiction? For me, it's gonna be Katniss Everdeen and Hermione Granger. Your favourite painter? I actually don't know, so um, I'm gonna say Van Gogh. Or Van Gogh, Sarah. <laughs> Your favourite musician? Well, from that tangent last week, you probably figured out that I'm quite the big fan of Evanescence, and from previous videos, also Fleetwood Mac, so um, either of them. What quality do you most admire in a man? For me, it's integrity. It's uh, someone who um, doesn't have, feel like they have to follow a crowd. The quality you most value in a woman? Um, trust and honesty. Your favourite virtue? Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm gonna, mainly because I don't really know them. That's terrible, isn't it? Um, I'm going to say patience. Your favourite occupation? For me, it'd be a musician, but in general, I think teachers. I mean, I'm not. I wasn't keen on my teachers at school, but I think that if you want to teach, I think that's. A, I think that's a decent job. Who would you have liked to be? You always get asked these questions like, who would else would you have been? But I'm not sure because, like, I think Sarah said, I've always been me, and I'm still 21, so I've still got a lot of time to grow. So I don't know. Um, I'd like to be someone who, as J.K. Rowling says, did the best he could with the talent he had. And yeah, I think that's it for this week. I've, I hope. All those answers are right. Alex, I hope you're having a fun trip. Um, Sarah, a belated happy birthday. I really hope and glad you liked your video and I hope you had a wonderful birthday. Lauren, your brother's bike is awesome and I'm sorry about your car because a tree kind of damaged it. Kat, I hope you are all right. Um, you didn't go up a video, but I hope you get one up soon and I hope you're all right and all your work is going good. So yeah, that's it from me. The phone's ringing, so that's a sign to go. Um, I hope you're all well, fellow awkward knots. DFTBA and Lauren, I will see you on Monday.